India tourist places are numerous and many are known to the world. However, India is also a land of mystery and wonder with a rich history and culture that spans thousands of years. There are therefore many hidden gems in India, tourist places that are off the beaten path and not well known to run off the mill tourists. In this video, I'll present you with 7 India tourist places that tourists usually end up skipping or don't even know of. They're all unique and special in their own way and they offer a glimpse into the hidden side of India, rich with natural wonders, hidden paradises and arts and crafts that will leave you in awe. Our first destination takes us to a paradise tucked away from the world's gaze where the sea meets the sky in a seamless embrace. You've probably seen such pristine beaches in the Maldives, but did you know India has its own paradise with 50 shades of blue? With its coral reefs, clear blue waters and untouched beaches, Lakshadweep is a haven for divers and sun seekers alike. Are you seeing this? Like the Maldives though, Lakshadweep takes effort to reach as it's not only tucked away in a hidden corner of India, but also a protected nature conservation area. After a quick drive, we arrive at the dock where our boat is waiting to transport us to Bangaram Island, one of the in total 36 islands in Lakshadweep. As for the population, only 10 of the 36 islands are inhabited and of those 10, just 6 are open for tourism. You won't find the ultra luxury experience here like in the Maldives, but in contrast to that, you will feel truly lost in an exclusive slice of preserved paradise. But if a tropical paradise is not for you, you may enjoy a hidden gem architecture museum that's coming up later in the video and the next place which is a must visit for any Bollywood fan. Venturing now into the heart of cinema, we arrive at the Ramoji Film City. More than a sprawling studio, it's a labyrinth of creativity and make-believe. As the cameras roll and actors bring stories to life, keep an eye out for those corners where reality blurs with action and dreams may just come true. So currently we are stepping on the set of the Chennai Express. Ever seen an Indian train empty like this? Well, I have once, to be honest. <laughs> but it is pretty cool. Oh, this train is not departing, sir. <laughs> Ramoji Film City is the largest film studio complex in the world. It is located in Hyderabad, Telangana. The studio complex is home to over 5,000 sets, including replicas of famous landmarks from around the world. I'm just waiting for Amit Khan, Shah Khan, Salman Khan to board the flight. You're very welcome. You can also take a tour of the studio or you can watch a movie being filmed. The studio was the shooting ground for iconic Bollywood movies like Bahubali, Chenna Express, the train scenes of Jabwe Met, and more recently, some scenes of Triple R. Oh, ho, ho, let's play. Some sets though are believed to be haunted, so if you're more into intricate arts and crafts, we got that India tourist place coming up, but first let's explore an exceptional natural wonder. Under the endless expanse of the moonlit sky, you really want to find yourself at the ethereal run of Kutch. The salt desert in the Indian state of Gujarat appears still, yet brims with stories of ancient caravans and nomads. As the salt crystals shimmer like the stars in the night, one might sense the echoes of forgotten footprints, whispering tales of a time long gone. I keep Ratma, Ahiya Kushbuche, Sanskrit Taro Harni, 
Behind us, look at this. It is all white because of the salt. The salt has just dried up. The run of Kuch is a truly unique place. The desert is covered in salt flats and is home to a variety of wildlife. Once upon a time, the run was a shallow part of the Arabian Sea until a geological shift closed off the connection with the sea. The region became a seasonal marshy salt desert over the years. During monsoons, the region fills up with water and forms a wetland. In the summer, the water dries to create a bed of white salty land which looks like a dreamy snowy landscape but always has a pleasant warm temperature. This is stunning. Nothing less than stunning. Okay, I'm getting emotional because it's so pretty. Unique nature is just one of the aspects that makes India one of the most fascinating destinations in the world. But it's also the arts and crafts and extraordinary luxury that leaves tourists amazed. One of such lush luxuries is a private island escape. Right off the coast of the Indian state Karnataka is a Chintakore private island. Approaching it gives the same feelings as entering Jurassic Park, but luckily you won't find such terrifying wildlife here. What you will find is an infinity pool overlooking a stunning Indian sunset and the feeling that you have been lost in paradise. Wow, this place is so incredibly surreal. It's a tiny island. There are rooms for 45 people in total. It's so peaceful. We are here with a group of about 22 people. I haven't seen anybody this morning. I'm just enjoying this private beach apparently for myself. But if you want to step it up a notch even more, the following opulence is waiting for you. You instantly feel welcome when you enter the magnificent lobby or better yet, palatial yet cozy living room. Warm welcome my travel to Deadpool. Behold the regal beauty of Rafal Sudaipur, an architectural marvel of aesthetics that's surrounded by perfectly manicured gardens, combined with a history of impeccable hospitality. Paired with the Indian flavors and charm, this is truly one of the top-notch luxury experiences in India. Luxury in India comes in many shapes and forms. Sometimes it's a hidden in plain sight obsession of one man to document all the architectural styles of the different states across India. Amidst the vibrant culture of Mangalore, a true treasure trove awaits if you're into architecture, aesthetics and home decor. Hasa Shilpa is a, basically an open-air architecture museum which was the dream of one man named Vijayana Chennoy. He was basically obsessed with Indian architecture and how it varies in different parts of India and in different states of India. Hence, he went all around the country in different states of India, deconstructed complete homes and reconstructed them again on this six and a half acre large land. Hasta Shilpa is home to 18 heritage houses, relocated and restored to almost 80% of their original glory. Exploring this heritage village shows how the various climates in India require different building techniques and materials. It's truly a homage to the best of Indian craftsmanship, but so is the unique toy town where simple wood becomes a child's best memories. 
For 200 years, Chanapatna was all about perfecting the craft of toy making with only natural materials. But recently, the number of craftsmen dropped dramatically. From 15,000 artisans, there are now only about a thousand left, and the Chanapatna toys might be an extinct art in the near future if something doesn't change drastically. So you might be wondering, okay, but how can we preserve this heritage craft? Well, before we get into that, let's first dive a little bit deeper into why these toys are so special and why it would be an absolute shame if they would not be made anymore. The colors and shapes with which the local craftsmen play are hypnotizing, but there's more to the story of this toy town in India. Each piece of toy is made by hand and only natural materials are entertained. It actually starts with the wood on which the artisans refuse to compromise. Only ivory wood or halem Mara is used because it's lightweight and durable. In order to give the toys their vibrant colors, only vegetable dyes are used. This ensures the toys are non-toxic and safe for children. All the toys are made by hand only and an average expert Chanapatna artisan can make about two to three toys per hour. 100% non-toxic. Pretty impressive, no? But it's exactly that labor intensity and uncompromised quality that makes Chanapatna toys so vulnerable for extinction. See, previously, Chanapatna was all about toy making and the whole town was in on it. However, with modernization, the younger generations are getting more and more out of the craft. Also, cheap toys, especially from China, are making it very difficult for these artisans to make a viable living from their craft. The exciting option is that Chanapatna is located only a half day trip from Bengaluru. You can visit the factory and see with your own eyes how the toys are made. Of course, you can also buy toys on the spot. We're in the factory now. I don't think you can hear me because there's so much going on. You can even try your own hand at making a toy. I've listed the tour operator in the description who's experienced and was with us on the tour. This way, it's easier to overcome language barriers and just have your whole tour arranged for you. I think it's currently a break, but look how massive. Well, actually, so much gets done and I expected the factory to be a lot bigger but they're just very efficient. Hi, sir. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Your doll looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, going down. Oh, yeah. There is wood everywhere. Look how many wood chips. Wood, wood, wood everywhere. The next time you travel India, I hope these unique tourist places give you inspiration to go beyond the beaten path. Each of them has made me fall in love with India in a profound way and made me realize that a lifetime of exploring this magical country is not enough. If it's your first time traveling in India, do check out the India Travel Guide or the local travel guides for the best India experience.